Hey guys, this is Shannon. Welcome to Skip to My Life. If you have kids that share a bathroom or even have their own bathroom but just cannot seem to keep it straight, today's episode is for you. We're doing a total kids bathroom overhaul, so let's get going. If you're looking for ways to live an upscale life on a downsized budget, I am here for you at Skip to My Life. I want to start by saying a big thank you to the three girls that allowed me to come into their bathroom and film. They are ages 16, 19, and 22, and they are the sweetest sisters. They really do get along well. But sharing a bathroom, I think, can put a strain on even the best relationship. So this bathroom is designed with its own toilet and shower with a door. And then there's a Jack and Jill portion of the bathroom, which is accessible from two different bedrooms. So even though the girls really made an effort to tidy up for me, it was obvious that they were having difficulty finding enough space to get ready in the morning. They each had little cosmetic bags that they were leaving on the counter and the floor because they had run out of space. And there was no rhyme or reason to the under counter. In fact, they confessed to me that they really didn't even know everything that was under there. Comment below and let me know if one of your kids was planning to go off to college, but because of COVID, they are staying home instead. So this is the situation this family was in. One of the girls was planning to go back to her dorm, but since all her classes are online, she's home. So that really put a little bit of a cramp in the plans to share this bathroom. Before I got started, I talked with the girls and asked them what their goals were for this space. They really wanted a quick and easy way to keep the bathroom clean and also have the things in there that they really use on a regular basis, but they could easily find and access them. Mom had come up with a really nice little cleaning system but the problem was the girls couldn't see what was there because the container the cleaning supplies were kept in was opaque. So I transferred everything to these pretty little Dollar Tree organizers and I put their bath salts and bath soap in clear containers that they can just at a glance see. We also made this bathroom a little bit easier to clean by removing all the wicker baskets. I find that wicker in bathroom spaces collects a lot of dust and is very difficult to keep clean. So we replaced that with smooth plastic containers. Most of the containers you'll see in this video, I have linked to below in the description section of this episode. The exception will be these cute little boxes I'm pulling out right here. Those were only available in store. So if you're lucky enough to find those at your Dollar Tree, go ahead and snap them up. But the locker style box here and the containers that I have the bath salts and bath soaps in, you can find online if you just follow the link I've provided. We're gonna move on now to that main bathroom area and I wanted to start with this little pull-out drawer. I think the architect used this because to have a normal size drawer would have crowded that pass-through space. The girls were using this for their toothbrushes and toothpaste and after I removed those things, it was obvious this was just not a hygienic space for those. So we replaced that with hard to find hair items a few brushes and combs, and that way they don't have to worry about wet toothbrushes and toothpaste laying in that drawer. We laughed a little bit about this one because I think we counted nine different blow dryers, curling irons, and flat irons that the girls owned together, and they decided that was really way too many. They didn't use those. So we were able to consolidate those, and the girls decided they wanted a very clean look to the space, so they were gonna go ahead and remove that little hanging rack on the wall. 
After I'd taken everything out of this first under counter space, I went ahead and laid down some Dollar Tree shelf paper. I am a big believer in shelf paper, especially for spaces like this, because it makes the inevitable spill so much easier to clean up. Having said that, I will tell you that one roll of Dollar Tree shelf paper does not go very far. I actually needed two rolls. So I've never done a price comparison. You may do better to buy this at Walmart, but it sure was a cute pattern and that's kind of what hooked me on it. If you've been following Skip to My Life for a while, you know that I love these stackable containers for under counter spaces. And I played around with those for a little bit to see which configuration was best. When all was said and done, I used a three box stack and I did glue gun those together to make sure that they didn't tumble over when things were removed. So now it's on to the second under sink area. We did take every single thing out and the girls were so nice to help me go through. They actually really purged a lot of items, especially old nail polish. We found a lot of old nail polish. But after we had put everything where it went and decided what needed to be thrown out or donated, the next step was to label everything. These are my favorite labels. They're from Dollar Tree. They're very economical. They come several to a pack. They're just a clear sleeve. I do apply a little bit of extra glue to that adhesive, put all those clear sleeves in place, and then when I have those ready, I'll go back and write down what is in that container and just slip it into the sleeve. These labels can be redone and replaced as many times as you want. So it's just a really nice way to label things. Here's my question of the day. When you were younger, did you share a bathroom with anyone? I had four older sisters. We had one bathroom in our home, and yes, we all shared the same bathroom. Well, the girls were all delighted with the clean look we achieved by the time we were finished. What they liked the most were that they had these three glass jars sitting on their counter for the things that they used the most. There was no searching, there was no going through under cabinet to find anything. Everything they used on a regular basis was very easy to find. If you're enjoying this video, I sure hope you'll click the like thumbs up button. I would love to have you subscribe to my channel so we could get to know each other even better. Here's a big reveal of the under sink area. One of the things the girls liked most was that they each had their own different colored caddy for their toothbrush, toothpaste, retainer and comber brush, anything that they used on a common basis. There was lots of extra space and all the bins were very clearly labeled. Only what they really needed and used was underneath the sink. Even if your kids are a lot younger than these three siblings, Every child I've ever met loves having their own little caddy to put their toothbrush and toothpaste in, and it's an excellent way to help them keep their space clean. I also gave each girl her own little microfiber makeup remover cloth in black so she doesn't have to worry about getting that dirty. I created a simple Lazy Susan from two stove burner covers that I bought at Dollar Tree. In the middle are ball bearings, and hopefully you can hear those. But this is a very, very inexpensive and very effective system for creating a Lazy Susan. If you're getting some great ideas from this video, I sure hope you'll click the like button and I would love to have you subscribe and get to know you better. Music 
if you've been following Skip to My Life for a while, you know our story. My husband and I recently downsized from a six bedroom McMansion to a tiny three bedroom love cottage after our kids were grown and flown. So I love to work with small space organizing and upscale decor on a downsized budget. I just want to say thank you one more time to these three young ladies for allowing me to come in and work with them and also to film their bathroom. Well, thanks for coming along today on my kids' bathroom overhaul. I sure hope that you got some great ideas you can use in your home. Please drop me a comment below and let me know one thing that really stood out for you today. And please subscribe. I would love to come back and bring you even more great ideas. Until next time, make it a great day. This is Shannon from Skip to My Life.